Amsha family is to be among the first taking part in a new summer camp for children, which sets out to offer a godless alternative to faith-based camps. Camp Quest UK is supported by one of the country's best-known atheists, the scientist Richard Dawkins. Well, Bryony Leyland is in Basingstoke uh, with the family to find out more tonight. Bryony. Well, Sally, I am in the garden of the Dago family here in Basingstoke, where 11-year-old Peter and 12-year-old India are fighting it out on the swing ball. At the end of this month, they'll be among 24 young people who are taking part in the first Camp Quest UK. The organisers hope it will help to open the minds of young people like them. The end of term isn't far off now, and when the holidays come, they'll bring something a little different for India and Peter Jago. Their parents, who aren't religious, have chosen a week away which they hope will be a unique mixture of physical adventure and challenging thinking, promoted as a godless alternative to other camps. It, it's godless in the way that it's not affiliated to any particular one faith. But the camp is open to children whose parents may be Christian or Hindu or Sikh or Jewish or may not have any particular faith or belief. Um, so it's completely open and it's not biased to any one viewpoint. Camp Quest began in America, where faith-based camps are widespread. Those behind the UK project say it's a chance to open up debate on topics from evolution to ethics. We don't have any athe atheistic agenda or um, anything like this. We, we, we're more interested on uh, looking at how the children justify their ideas, how they think, um, and equipping them with tools to, say, choose between two ideas posed to them. So what's the reaction been from groups that encourage children to have a faith? The Scout Association says it sounds like valid youth work and stresses it doesn't run religious camps. One of the big Christian camping groups says it sounds interesting, but says they encourage free thinking as well. We're definitely not trying to indoctrinate anyone. Um, or brainwash anyone and uh, you, you know it's, it's about you know people coming to the decisions themselves. Peter and India's minds are on the canoeing and climbing as much as the ethics but they're looking forward to both. Well I think it's vital that you have to learn to think of yourself and stuff like that. With this summer's course oversubscribed it looks like many other families are keen to expose their children to a new kind of adventure. Brandy Leyland, BBC South Today, Basingstoke. You might have noticed there's just a few technical glitches on vision and sound in that report from Bryony. Hopefully it didn't spoil your enjoyment.